today we are going to talk about the clutch, the mechanical clutch and the hydraulic clutch. Uh, and uh, what is the difference between each clutch? In marine application, we don't have a, a mechanical clutch for the transmissions. Uh, we have different clutches in different applications. Uh, we are going to refresh in your car. Element that uh, in your car use clutch. Of course, if your car is manual transmission, you have a you have a clutch, no? Hydraulic or mechanical clutch, no? In what other equipment in your car you have a clutch that you feel that AC engage compressor. or disengage? AC compressor. The compressor of air condition, no? When you when you select cooling mode, you hear that the compressor engage. If the compressor is not engaged, the belt is moving the compressor, but it's spinning free. It's not compressing the refrigerant. This is another clutch. What type of clutch is that clutch in the compressor of your car? Electromagnetic clutch. When you select cooling mode in the thermostat, what happened with that clutch, with the magnets? And, and, the, and the pulley is engaged, and the compressor is working. You, you, you hear that compressor when you change the temperature, you remember? You hear? that the compressor engage or disengage. This is another type of clutch. What is this and what is this? What type of transmission is this? What is the difference between this and this? This is manual transmission and this is marine transmission, gasoline inboard transmission. Here you have the gasoline engine, the marine gasoline engine, and here you have the gasoline engine automotive engine. What is that chaff? The input chaff of the of the transmission. And this one is the input chaff of this transmission. You know? And uh, what about <coughs> and you have the coupling and the chaff and the propeller. This is the output chaff of the transmission. Yes or no? And what about this one? The output chaff of this transmission. Okay, excuse me. This is in your car. Where is connected this, this coupling? To the, to the drive shaft and the differential. You remember? Yesterday we checked the differential. Oh, this, this drive shaft have a rubber. In marine application, you found that this type of uh, coupling? Yes, it's very common. Uh, it's, the people love it, this type of uh, coupling, because this type of coupling, if you cannot align the boat perfect, but couplings, this one is excellent because absorb that difference. Okay, this is the output shaft and this is the input shaft. Excuse me, this and this are the same? This is the same shaft? No. If this is moving, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. look at this. Yes, moving. This is moving and the yes, output is yes. not moving. Why? Because internally I don't select any gear. Ah, this is independent. Oh, shoot, loose, align it, but uh, they are independent. Input shaft and output shaft. The same here. Oh, in this moment it's engaged. You see? Oh, let me put it neutral. And it's not engaged. Yeah? The pen. Input shaft and output shaft. Input shaft and output shaft. Excuse me. I have a question. I have the engine here. What is this? The flywheel. Where is bolted this flywheel? Where? On the crankshaft, you remember? You use the impact tool to install those, those, those bolts. In the crankshaft. In the crankshaft of? Of? This is the transmission. In the crankshaft of? The engine. This element is spinning at the same RPMs of the engine because it's bolted on the crankshaft. Anybody follow me? Yes or not? When I start the engine, the start motor, the gear of the start motor engage here, you remember? Engage here and what happened? When you send the signal start, the pinion enter here and move it, move it, the crankshaft, the crankshaft, if you have a spark and fuel, the engine start. This one is part of the engine. It's not part of the transmission. The crankshaft is here. And, and this one is bolted on the crankshaft. But transmissions are in the pan doesn't matter if it's automotive or marine, independent of the engine. Everybody follow me? The input shaft of the transmission is connected in some moments with the crankshaft? No, directly. It's engaged, no? With the clutch. 
Ah, when the clutch is activated, <coughs> the crankshaft, this element, the flywheel, is connected, is connected with the input shaft of the transmission. Only when the clutch engage in this transmission, in the automotive transmission. Excuse me, in marine transmission, the crankshaft, the flywheel of the engine is always connected with the input shaft of the transmission in marine applications. Them. Think, think, pay attention. In automotive, no. The flywheel is separated from the input shaft. Only when the clutch engage, you connect both of them. In, in automotive. Everybody follow me? In marine, the transmission, the input shaft of the transmission is always connected, connected, mechanic connection with the crankshaft of the engine is always attached. Let me show to you this one. Look at this. This is the transmission, and this is the engine, Marwin. Look, the input shaft of the transmission enter. This is the flex plate. You see that plate is corroded. The flex plate is bolted with six bolts. It's over there. It's over there. And the hub of this flex plate enter here in the slides of the shaft. You see? You see the plate is equal to this with, with springs. And look at this, in the hub of the flex plate located here, enter splines of the shaft and the transmission engaged over there. In other words, the input shaft of the transmission and the crankshaft, because this one is bolted on the flywheel and the flywheel is bolted on the crankshaft. In other words, the input shaft of the transmission and the crankshaft of the engine is always connected. What is the function of that damper plate or flex plate with those springs. Absorb momentum when, when I decide forward or reverse. Forward, neutral, or reverse. Anybody follow me? This element is not to engage or disengage because it's always, it's always connected. This shaft and this shaft are connected. The crank shaft with the input shaft are always, always connected. In other words, when I engage forward or reverse, that shaft is spinning. That's why in marine transmission, you hear, you hear, <coughs> it's because it's, 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 a, it's a spinning. This is why in outboards, the recommendation of uh, the doctors in outboard is engage like a man, no a little, no Danny. Yeah. If not, you damage those, the, the, the pack. You need, bah, bah. no a little, no, no, my friend, pam, pam, all right. This is the marine, the marine situation. Once again, the input shaft of the transmission is always connected with the crankshaft of the engine. 